This is not a game changer, okay? But what it is, is the sort of tool that will be in your toolbox for 10 years and the five or six times that you find it useful, there's no replacement for it. Don't make this version. This is the one that I've suffered through using over the last half dozen or so years. And how it works is the blade snaps in and then it relies on you using your thumb to hold it there. It will work, but there's a better way. Before I go forward, let me state the obvious. There's no magic here, it's just a handle for a hacksaw blade. These two nails run the whole way through and they keep it from moving. And this nail, the center pin, goes through the hole that's in the hacksaw blade, securing it in place. You want to set this up so that it cuts on the pull stroke because if you push, the blade bends. Some of these can be fragile or rather hard enough to be brittle and they can snap. It's important that you use this tool only on the pull stroke. The center pin, this nail, is just proud on the back side. And so you can push it up to force it out of its slot here. There's just a ranger band, a piece of tube that holds it in place. Take it out and swap the blade. Blade goes in, line up all the holes and the nail will slip all the way through and into its bed. And the inner tube rubber holds it in place. If you've decided to make one, dedicate a hacksaw blade, three eight penny nails, one ranger band. We start with a piece of three quarter inch plywood, an inch and a half wide. We're going to put curves on those two sides and another curve there. Total three and three eighths. For the nails, mark one half inch and one and three quarters. Mark center and drill this hole. That was an eighth inch bit. If we mark the sides of the blade, we'll be able to see as we drill. And we just hold off to the side a little bit. Give it some wiggle room. Next we'll make a mark for how deep the blade sticks into the handle. Square it across. And then we will cut a notch into it along the centermost ply. Stopping when we get to our mark. If we give these a little bit of a bend, it will cause them to jam up in the hole and they will act like rivets. The blade is in so it won't collapse. Back at the beginning, I may have undersold this thing a bit because there are two cases where it's just indispensable. The first case is whenever you're cutting a piece of PVC that's down in a hole, especially if there's no electricity around. The second case is whenever you want to attach something to a block wall. You can use expensive anchors, but it's easier to just screw directly into a mortar joint. Plug the hole and then screw to it. This way can also be repaired at any time in the future. So there you have it. Not the greatest design in the world, but totally worth a couple minutes of tinkering. I wish I would have had one of these 10 years ago. Good girl, stand. Can you stand up here? Stand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, down, down.